Good day, everybody. I am. <laughs> shaking it today yes trying to get myself back in gear so I'm doing my protein shakes this is a well it has some green in it but uh, it's one of those fruit and green veggie shakes and I have a little uh, Kato protein in it so down the hatch I go So, this protein shake is not that bad. Mm. I like mine with little bits of the fruit. My dreadlocks are hanging out in the back. I just started these in November and they have already grown pretty darn long. I'm loving it. <laughs> My ponytail is shooting out the back. But anyway, yeah. I'm trying to get back to the healthy me. I'm not as fit or... um, I can say I'm healthy because when I go to see the doctor, they're always talking about, oh, well, you're healthy. You're within your range for my age. You know, everything's pretty okay. But um, I want to be that... I want to be back down to that 135, 40 I used to be. Right now, I'm like maybe 154 or so. And I'm not liking it. <laughs> I don't like the double chin. Look at my chin. Like, oh my God. And I do it like that. I don't like that. I don't like my belly area. And don't ask me to show you. <laughs> I could, I could get with the butt. The buttocks is banging, okay? Look, I don't have no kind of implants back there. That is all right right there, okay? Don't have them issues. And I can get with the little bit of hips I got. My thighs are, like, sick. Like, just pulling my... That's why I wear leggings all the time, honey. <laughs> Plus, they're comfortable. But anyway, um, yeah, I'm doing my protein shakes and lots of salads and vegetables and fruits and i am staying away from meats although i do i love my salmon oh my god my fish so what do they call that i heard a presbyterian or something or another isn't that church religion or something i don't know mm. I like my protein shake. Like, I don't like any chocolate. No. But I like it with vanilla and a little bit of, um, what is that called? Mm. Cinnamon. Which cinnamon helps, I believe, with your anti-inflammatory, right? Or your circulation. One of those. I know it helps with one of those. But, yeah. So, I'm trying my best to do the right thing right now by my body. Oh, my God. As you get older, as some of you already know, I have a really bad back issues. And um, sometimes it affects my walk. Like, there's times that I can or cannot walk, people, believe it or not. Yeah. So, me putting on weight during this coronavirus, just like, oh, the, the I know that some people say excuses, excuses. But I will not make coronavirus an excuse for me staying healthy. But... Yes, with my depression and situations, um, I just at one point fell off and I'm just like eating everything inside because I never get a chance to, like, I never used to eat Chinese food and unless it's sushi, mm -hmm. but like fried Chinese food. And I just went like several months ago, I just went like those chicken wings and those Oh, because I fell off my my vegeta vegetarian diet. And I just, something just took me in a spiral of feeling depressed. Like, ugh. And 
I'm just like, I'm going to eat every freaking thing I see in sight. And that's what I did. I just ate everything. <laughs> and I don't like what the results are. Mm. No, I don't like the tummy at all. So now I'm like, damn it, girl, you can do this. As you've done everything else, you've survived and you've done it. Okay, so you got to do this, okay? For, not, not for everybody else, but for myself. Yes, I don't care what you think. I care what I think, okay? And I want this belly gone. And I'm not, you know, I'm not I, I'm not one of those type of people that spend money to go. I don't, even if I had the money, no. I would probably spend the money on a trainer. Excuse me, I've been having a really... <laughs> mucusy past few weeks oh and you don't know what is going on out here with this air you know i used to say a long time ago are they gonna like figure, i say if they could figure out a way for us to have to pay for oxygen they would and i'd be damn if it ain't close to that now i'm trying y'all see what's going on in the world but yeah i've been working hard on this um this to make my third day which that's not a lot but my third day just protein shaking it uh water protein shake i believe i heard something i'm having cravings like mad for stuff i should not i slipped up yesterday and had a little handful of potato chips and dip because mm -hmm. the cravings got to me and i don't i think it's what is it lemon and olive oil right extra virgin olive oil and a squeeze of lemon that you're supposed to drink that like stops craving i'm not sure somebody comment and get to me on that uh, i think that's what it is somewhere i saw that but i have to research it a little bit more because oh my god my cravings i want oh, i'm so sad i'm so upset with myself for turning back the time and in indulging in stuff that i normally do not eat like, I can cook it. Like, I could cook it out, the, you know, cook my behind off. But to eat it, no. And I don't want to eat things like, you know, animal meat. I don't. Um, I'm anemic. And I have these medications that I have to take daily. And sometimes I need something heavy on my stomach. And me thinking that that's what I needed was to eat some meat. And just plain old, just self-indulgence, you know. But now I regret it. And now I'm trying very hard to get back on just my veggies and fruits and uh, protein products. Um, vegan. I, 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 don't, I don't believe that I would ever become a vegan. Although I was at one time a raw food eater. But that was like in my 20s and I was so active. Now I'm 53 and it's a little harder now. And I'm, you know, like I'm one of those high risk people. Like my doctor keeps telling me, oh, stay from outside as much, as you know, well, from around people as much as possible, which that isn't hard for me to do because I don't like people. <laughs> no, I do. I like people, but I, I'm an introvert. I stay to myself a lot. I mean, I don't care for like people up under me 24 seven, like that drives me banana. Just like people that want to have, you know, you ever met people that can't be alone? Like they constantly have to have someone. I'm not one of those, you know, I see you, I say hi or whatever. I'm not one of those type of people to go, Oh, let's, oh, let's, um, want to come over let's hook up no, 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 no. i prefer my own company all like i could spend all day so this covid coronavirus thing really is not it's a big deal but it didn't throw me back you know what i mean like i can deal with being alone in the house you know um by to myself so but I think that it somewhere in your mind, if someone tells you you can't or something, you know, goes against, then you go in deep like, oh, I bet you I can. So somewhere in my head, I just started craving fried chicken and and 
french fries oh my god the french fries let me stop talking about because my mouth starting to water i feel like windy wind you know how she do that <laughs> mm. Mm -hmm. Mm. with some hot sauce on it you know how wendy williams do it <laughs> i just started craving like anything that's greasy <laughs> And I went for like the crab cheese lagoons. Oh my God. That's what they call them, lagoons, right? Okay. It's that artificial crab meat with cheese and uh, in a wonton that's fried. Oh, yes. But I, I don't want that. I don't want that. I don't want the grease. Is there a way you can do it? And the, and the cheese, cheese always like upsets my stomach. Anything dairy like kind of upsets me. And I love cheese. I don't know how I'm going to get over cheese. I've tried those, uh, what they call vegan cheeses. And um, I have to reset my taste buds. That's pretty much what I have to do. I have to reset my taste buds, everybody. That's what I'm going to have to do. Mm-hmm. And I haven't eaten since yesterday at 6. So I'm like, this protein shake is really like, oh my God. But I'm starting to feel like this. I don't know what it's. I'm not lightheaded, but clarity, kind of. Because this is all I've been doing is protein shake. I have, I do have a slim fast, slim fast that if I go out, I take with me because when I start feeling that, that churning pain in my tummy, like, oh my God, I got to eat something now. And I mean, it churns so hard. My stomach will gurgle and I feel like I'm going to throw up, but I don't have anything in my stomach to throw up. So I, I guess that's my body saying, I'm hungry, feed me. But I'm like, no, you won't have nothing. Do you see that fat around your tummy? Uh-uh. You on a strict diet, okay? Gotta talk to it. Uh-uh. <laughs> so, I've been taking, the, like, the portable Slim Fast with me just to sip because it says that it helps with your cravings. So, I've been sipping on those. There's Maybe there's a better way, people, I know, but I'm not going to be carrying around no lemon and, and, and olive oil, okay? So... <laughs> Because that's the other way they said it stops you from craving. Um, but this, me doing a shake today right now is like, oh, thank you. Because I need something for my stomach to say, okay, stop churning and carrying on. But anyway, people, I just wanted to let you all know that I am in this fasting diet protein shake stage right now. And I'm working hard at it. I don't know how many more days I will go. But, um yeah i'm trying and when i do have decide to have something to eat i'm gonna make it i'm gonna you know make it be a small something and vegetables it'll probably be like fish and vegetables you know um and maybe a fruit salad on the side or a gigantic ass salad you know what i mean but i'm really trying to stay away from meats yeah meats and sugars and uh starches and i know some fruits that they say some fruits are starchy right yeah so i have to do a little bit more research on this if anyone can give me some comments and help below then um advice i would definitely take it but anyway i just wanted to come on and say hi to everyone and um give you a little do a little chit chat with you and um well, you'll see me post up again soon sometime, okay? I thank you all for your support and your love. And I hope that everything is going well with you all out there. Um, please, everybody, mask up and be safe. Take care of yourselves, okay? Until next time. Love you guys. Bye. Mwah.